everyone. Welcome to Cat Run Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and today is the day of all days. That's right. It is new comic book Wednesday, which can only mean one thing, of course, and that is I have my polls for you guys. So definitely a smaller week than what I've had here recently. However, still a pretty solid week. So, um, I was actually pretty surprised at the amount of DC and Marvel versus indie. Definitely a huge indie week for me. So, first off, as per usual, we always start off with DC and work our way to indies. But first is Batwoman issue 17, the variant cover. And I'm not gonna lie, this really reminds me of some old school Bat family covers so definitely had to get my hands on it as soon as I saw it that next is Batman issue 51 so this is not dealing with the outcome of the wedding this is actually a Mr. Freeze storyline but you know Batman is uh sitting in the rain dealing with all of his hopes and dreams being crushed at the altar yeah. Yeah, we just took a dark turn here on Cat Run Figures, but uh, we chose a side. That's because it's still DC. We chose a side. No, that's not choosing sides. DC is generally just. Okay, well, Mark chose the other side. I chose Bruce's side. All right, so. I have cookies. <laughs> Moving on. I have Justice League issue four. No, this is not the Gem Lee variant for it. But uh, I'm probably going to be picking that up at another shop here soon. Didn't have time to make it over there. So I just got the main cover. So next is Harley Quinn issue 46. Gillian March cover. Uh, Harley Quinn on Apocalypse. So pretty badass. And if you know it's a Harley Quinn week, you know there's a Frank Cho cover out for it. So... Gorgeous, gorgeous cover, as per usual. Frank Cho, definitely keep drawing, Harley, because you're doing a great job. So, last for DC is Archie Meets Batman 66. And a Ty Templeton cover. Really, really gorgeous. I'm kind of obsessed with the fact that Archie Andrews actually thinks he might be capable of beating Batman in the Batmobile in a race. That's kind of awesome. So I had to get this cover. Moving on into Marvel for this week. I have The Life of Captain Marvel. The Art Germ cover for it. I'm not going to lie. I actually just picked this up for the Art Germ cover. I haven't really cared about Carol since, since she was made into Captain Marvel. I'm a Miss Marvel fan. Let's, let's put it that way. I, I preferred her before. So, continuing on, I picked up X-Men Red, issue number six. So, there's that. I'm actually an issue or two behind on that, but, you know, it is what it is. Next is Old Man Hawkeye, issue seven. So, poor Clint. He's, he's honestly just been put through the ringer. Yeah. Sucks to be him. So, continuing on into the indies for this week, I have Fuck Fairyland, issue 20. Yes, I Hate Fairyland, issue 20 came out, I believe, last week. But my shop forgot to order me an expletive cover for it, so I had to pick it up to complete my run. So, there it is. Next is Quantum and Woody, issue 8. Uh, it's another one of those extreme foil holographic ultra whatever variants um it's been a really funny really ridiculous read and uh you know really cool also you know kind of crazy skeletons yeah mark's shaking his head if only you could see he's shaking his head so next is the mark throwing things once that's over with everyone please look away once while i beat my cameraman senseless hold on <laughs> so back to our 
or regular, regularly scheduled video. Um, on to the Magic Order issue two. So really, really enjoying this so far. Loved issue one. Really excited to see what's going to come out of the continuation of Malar World and these Netflix esque storylines. Really excited to see the show come out of this. But there's that. And I picked up the C cover for it. My shop only had one of these. I was kind of obsessed with it as soon as I saw the cover. So pretty happy with that. Next is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 29. So this is the continuation of Shattered Grid. Definitely pick it up. It's worth the read if you're a Power Rangers fan like myself. Next is Weatherman issue two. The first issue was really psychedelic, really, really crazy all over the place. I wasn't 100% sure what was going on. And hopefully this is just as crazy. Honestly, I really enjoyed the first issue. So next, Mark and I have debated over how we think this should be pronounced. I'm going to go with Athusnuts. Yeah. Um, I flipped through it. I saw it on my, I saw it, uh, on the racks at my shop, flipped through it. It looks really weird. I definitely thought it was worth the read. So definitely something that uh, I'm excited to check out. So next, this was actually on the advised rack. One of the workers at my shop said this was going to be awesome. And that is the thrilling adventure hour. Number one. So I have no idea what to expect out of this, but still, I picked up I Hate Fairyland due to a suggestion rack offer at my shop, so definitely something I'm thinking about. And last, but certainly not least, is Ice Cream Man issue five. It's been a minute since one of these has come out. So yes, the continuation of Ice Cream. So, yeah, that is it for this episode of Cat Room Figures. Uh, before I go into all of my normal wrap-up kind of stuff, I have one small announcement, and that is that I will be appearing on Comics and Cold Ones this time tomorrow. So please queue in for that, and uh, be sure to say hi. Uh, check us out where we're we'll talking about comics and all sorts of odds and ends. As per usual, guys, can you... Wait, what? What time is this time? It's... Isn't it like 10? It's like 9 their time, but it's like 10 our time. So 10 Eastern, 9 Central? Okay, I'm not going to quote you times. Check out his channel because it's amazing. Uh, as per usual, guys, give me a like if you like this video. Comment below and tell me whether or not you are going to be picking up any of these awesome books. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more comic book content or check out any of the older videos I have up for offer here on Catherine Figures. And until next time, I'm Rose Caitlin. Bye.